fun? I see. Hey, I'm Officer Savage State Police. I stopped you tonight because you're all over the road. I know. I was on the phone. I mean, you're like bad all over the road. Okay. Do you have your driver's license on you, man? Where are you coming from tonight? I'm work. I'm tired. I'm stressed out. Okay. What's going on at work? Uh, we were slammed and there was a lot of drama. I had to break up a fight in the bathroom. I'm okay. Okay. Where do you work at? At where? I can barely hear you. Okay. Real quick, well, ma'am, I don't need you to keep digging. Just, just go ahead and step out of the car for me real quick, okay? I'm going to talk to you back here so I don't get hit, nailed by a car. Right back here, please. Uh, it's fine. Right over here, Good days other than my boss. <laughs> your boss? Yep. Okay, what's going on with your boss? Um, uh, I'm trying to file a sexual harassment claim on him. Okay. I get you. Um, any alcohol to drink tonight? I've had a little bit. Yes, Wh I have. What's a little bit to you? Um, like a few shots at work. Okay. The reason I ask is your eyes are watery, they're glossy, and I can smell it as you speak with me right now. So, one drink, two drinks. Two? And what are, what are we talking? Are we talking beers? Are we talking mixed drinks? I like Okay. And I also, like, I spilled a bunch of alcohol on me, too. I'm a bartender, so... I get you. Okay. Um, so you said two beers over the last Good. how long? Eight hours. Okay. Probably more so, like, within the last couple hours, but... Any food to drink or any food to eat? Yes. Okay. All right. And are we talking IPAs? Are we talking Bud Lights? What are we talking? A couple IPAs. A couple IPAs? Okay. So just... By your driving behavior, you could be texting. I was 100%. Or something say, else. My mom was texting. I just want to make sure before I get you out of here, okay? All right, man. So you can face me. Stand with your feet together, just like this. Arms by your side, okay? Have you ever had a traumatic brain injury? Uh, I've had a couple of concussions. Okay. I got in a car accident a couple years ago at Coachella. Any long lasting effects from that? Uh, I get severe migraines. Okay. Anything that impairs your ability to drive a vehicle? Any recent head in, uh, trauma? Not that I know of, no. Okay. Do you wear contacts? Yes. Are they hard or soft? They are soft and I don't have them in right now. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to have you just try to move that hair. I know it's kind of short, but just get it out of the, your face the best you can, okay? When I ask you to do so, you're going to focus on the tip of my pin. I don't want you to move your head throughout this test. I just want you to focus on the tip of my pin, moving your eyes and your eyes only. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions before we begin? Make your, your head straight with me and don't move it, okay? If you have to move that hair, go ahead and do so. What I'll probably do is I'm going to turn you, okay? I'm going to turn this bright light off so it's not blinding me, and I'm going to turn you. That way the wind's not blowing that hair in your face. All right. Let's try it one more time. You okay? Yeah, the wind's just in my eyes. Okay.
have any issues walking, balancing, or training? No recent injuries or anything I need to know about with your feet, ankles, no, nothing? I mean, I fell recently while I was roller skating, so okay. my hip hurts a little bit, but no. So you don't have any injuries or anything? No. Okay. What I'm going to ask you to do, ma'am, is take a couple steps forward. I'm going to ask you to do a series of steps. I'll demonstrate a test for you, and then I'll, you'll do a series of steps back. I'm going to turn that light on so it illuminates the ground, okay? All right, ma'am, I'm gonna place you in a starting position, okay? The starting position, what you're gonna need to do is imagine about a four inch wide line. That line is gonna extend from your right foot completely straight to the back of your vehicle. Okay. Can you picture that line? Go ahead and place your left foot on that line. My right foot. <laughs> now take your right foot, place it in a heel to toe manner in front of your left, just like this, keeping your arms by your side, okay? When I instruct you to do so, you're going to do nine heel to toe steps along that four inch wide line, okay? I don't want you to move or start the test until I tell you to do so. When instructed, you'll do nine heel to toe steps. One, two, three. You'll plant your lead foot with the foot behind you. You'll do a series of small turns, keeping this lead foot planted. You'll continue down that line, nine heel to toe steps. Do you mind if I get a jacket from my car? I'm sorry, I am shaking because I am cold. Where is it at? In my car. Where the? And I'll uh, back seat, I think there should be one. If not, then I'll let's run it through since you're already in the starting position, okay? You continue your nine steps back. One, two, three. When I instruct you to start the test, you'll focus on each step, counting each step out loud. You'll keep your arms by your side and you're co you're gonna continue until you're completely finished with your steps. Okay. Do you have any questions, ma'am? No, Do you under then I am shaking because I am cold. I get you. Do you understand the test and what I've asked you to do? Okay. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and begin. Plant your lead foot, just like I demonstrated, and then you'll do your nine steps back. Perfect, man. I'm gonna bring you right where that spotlight is. Face me, just like I had you the first time. Feet together, arms by your side, just like this. When I instruct you to do so, you're gonna pick your left or your right foot, okay? okay. Whichever foot you choose, you're gonna raise it about six inches off the ground, about the height of a Coke can. You're gonna focus on the tip of your toe, keeping your arms by your side, and you're gonna count in 1000s until I tell you to stop, okay? okay. It's gonna be about 30 seconds. I'll demonstrate for you. The test is gonna look like this, ma'am. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Continuing to count until I tell you to stop. Do you have any questions? You understand the test? Yeah. Go ahead and begin. 1,001. 2016, 2017, I'm gonna run a couple more, okay? Um, for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you focus on my finger again. I'm gonna come really close to your face, but I'm not gonna touch your face. I'm just gonna come really close, okay? You can stay just like I had you, feet together, arms by your side. Do you have any questions? No. Follow my finger, focusing on the tip. Next, what, I, what I'm going to instruct you to do, just stay exactly like you are with your arms by your side. You're going to close your eyes, you'll tilt your head back. What I want you to do is count inside your head to 30. I don't want
want you to count out loud. I don't want your mouth to move at all. I just want you to count to 30 inside your head. When you're completed with your count, let me know when you're done. Do you have any questions? Just close my eyes and tilt my head back. Close your eyes. Tilt your head back. Go ahead and start. Finished? Okay, last test and then we'll, we'll be done. I want you to make fists. Place them out by your side. Now put your pointing fingers out. When I say left or right, you're gonna touch the tip of whichever finger I say to the tip of your nose, okay? During this test, after you touch, you'll go back to the same position you're in right now. All right, do I keep my feet together? Yes, ma'am. Same thing, just like the last test, you'll close your eyes. Tilt your head just slightly back, okay? Right. Do you have any questions before we begin? Left. Right. Left. Right. Right. Perfect. Will you have a seat right here for me? <clears throat> okay. When's the last time you smoked any type of illegal narcotics? Um, a couple days ago. You haven't smoked any methamphetamine tonight? No, I didn't. Nothing I didn't at all? Okay. And how long ago was that? Uh, probably three hours. Three hours? Okay, so you had a little bit of cocaine and then you had a couple beers, okay? When I approached your vehicle, were you stuffing something in the back of your car? No. What were you doing when I approached you? I was reaching out from, I was looking for my um, registration. Do you want to look in the back of my car? No, I don't. I will let you look in the back of my car. I was literally looking for the reg my registration. I just updated it recently, so I was trying to grab my registration to give it to you. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to look in the back of your car or anything like that. I'm just asking yeah, questions. No, I was not stuffing anything in the back of my car, I promise you. Okay. So, the reason I'm asking is because I'm picking up on clues of intoxication, okay? Okay. So, that's what's going on tonight. Um, go ahead and stand up for me. Face my vehicle. Place your arms up on that bar. Place this hand behind your back. Place the other hand behind your back. Can I grab my phone? I will grab your phone for you, okay? Do you have anything on your person you shouldn't have, ma'am? Um, Say that one more time. But anything on you? Do me a favor, open your mouth, lift your tongue. Perfect, I'm gonna have you face my windshield, take one step back, widen your stance for me, widen your stance. Are you wearing a bra, ma'am? Yep. Anything in your bra? No. All right, I'm gonna have you sit in the back of my car, okay? Anyone else in there? No. Go ahead and have a seat. 545 cigar. Do you grab my wallet and my... 1015, 1047, mouth free and clear. On my watch, 0010 hours. Go ahead and start me at 46. You said grab your what? Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to read you a couple things real quick.
So listen to me, I'm about to tell you something important. You're under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol and or drugs. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. If you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse or laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional chemical test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test? I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. If you are convicted in court of driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Do you understand? I'm gonna, and if I take the test? I'm going to keep reading on, okay? Your right to speak to an attorney or remain silent does not apply to the requirement of the New Mexico law that you take a breath test. Do you now agree to be tested? Sure. Okay. I'm going to read you two more things. So... I'm not going to ask you a question at the moment, but as soon as I walked up on your vehicle, you were looking into the back seat, okay? Yes, there was. I was not stuffing anything into the seat. I don't seat. believe I you were. literally looking for my registration. I don't believe you were, and I'm not going to ask you a question at this moment, so I just want you to listen. When you were bending over into the back seat, there was a baggie underneath you. Yep, that was mine. Okay. <clears throat> I... So, you have the right to, right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and you have and to have him with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to you before questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop questioning at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand what I've read to you? Yes. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to speak with me? Um, will I be released... Uh, can... Tonight, or like, that other whatever my court is, or do I have to be uh, bailed out? Most likely, you will not have to get bailed out, but you will have to see a judge tomorrow morning, no, I, I, which I, is I'm about at, at 8 a.m. Okay. Okay? okay. I just need to... Can I call my mom and let her know what's going yes, on from my phone? I can do that for you. You said uh, the phone I, is where? It's in my car. It's in the front seat. And then the purse is where? Um, can I walk up there with you? Mm-mm. Uh, it should be in the front seat. It's just like a little wallet on a golden chain. Okay, I'll grab it for you, okay? Okay. And I can do a breath test if you want me to. I'm... Okay. okay. We'll, we'll get to that in just a minute.
Thanks, bro. I'm gonna hit the 81. I bet you it's already closed. Oh no, it's Wednesday, huh? I'll just knock it out real quick.